In today's video, we're going to talk about 10 things that can reduce the range of an EV conversion. And these aren't in any specific order, but I am going to go from 10 up to number one. Number 10 being traffic. Traffic flow can affect your range. If traffic is varying in speed a lot, then that will affect your range. Another item that can affect the range is using the heater or air conditioning. Uh, so if it's cold or hot, or whatever, and you're using your climate control, that can affect your, uh, your range. And depending on you know, how cold it is or you know, how much you're using the heater or air conditioning, it can make a 10 to 15 percent uh, decrease in your range. Speed. Speed can also make a big difference in your range, especially at higher speeds. You get over 65, 70 miles an hour, you'll notice you know, quite a bit more energy draw on your pack. And you'll notice that at constant slower speeds, say you're driving 45 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour at, at a constant, you'll get much better range, have le lots less current draw on your pack at a lower constant speed. Well, another one that can affect your range is the wind. Now the wind can actually help you. Depends on the direction of the wind. If you're driving into a headwind or have a wind coming off uh, at an angle off the front of your car, uh, that can decrease your range. But if you've got a tailwind, uh, it can actually increase your range. Rain can also affect your range, especially if it's raining heavy and you have water standing on the road. It's amazing just how much additional rolling resistance that creates by having water on the road. Another factor in range is temperature, the ambient temperature. If uh, you're driving in the cold, you'll notice that you don't get as much range as on a nice warm day. Um, and that can be for multiple reasons. One, uh, batteries don't like the cold, and uh, if you heat your battery pack, uh, then you know you're drawing energy from that battery pack to keep it in a temperature that they like. Also, you're probably running the heater in the passenger compartment, which also decreases. So temperature can be a major factor in your range. Another cause of drag and an unnecessary decrease in range is, can be caused by wheel alignment. We always recommend that after you do your conversion that you go and get a four wheel wheel alignment. Just to make sure everything is in specs with the way the car sits uh, with any additional weight and uh, so forth. Proper wheel alignment will make sure that the car is rolling as well as it should. Big factor in range is weight. So if you're carrying around uh, stuff in the trunk or whatever that you don't need to be carrying, recommend get it out of the car. If you're looking for another excuse to lose weight yourself, range might, might be it. But anyway, from previous videos, you'll remember how big a factor weight is in range. Another common item that can adversely affect your EV range is tire pressure. Make sure you check it often. A lot of your newer cars, of course, have uh, you know built-in monitoring systems and you can monitor the tire pressure. I recommend you do that often. Another thing is that you know, with the change in weather, especially, you know, uh, going in from summer to fall to winter, as the temperature gets colder, the tire pressure is naturally going to decrease. Underinflation of uh, tires is a major cause of a reduction in range. And the number one cause of reduced range of an EV is the nut behind the steering wheel. Poor driving habits really will affect the range. 
the way you drive probably has a bigger impact on range than anything else. And so quit texting and pay attention to your driving. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.